Good morning, everybody, from a beautiful day out at Merritt Island Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. We have acquired annual passes again. Is that the sound of the rain or the fountains? So one of the big things, they've reopened the Atlas Saturn building that you require the bus trip to get to Apollo Saturn Center, rather. But in order to get there, you need to reserve a time and they do require masks still as well. So when you get here, you scan your QR code and you reserve a time if there's any left. So the urgency is get here early. All right, so we purchased our annual passes online. Just went inside, took our pictures, got the hard passes, all in less than 10 minutes. You got new stuff being built in the background, but over here, Rocket Garden, and we have a new rocket since the last time that we were here. And here it is, the Delta II rocket. And if you were wondering about the shark's teeth on the payload, it means that there's a GPS satellite being launched. And there's the amount of missions, 128 feet. It's a Saturn engine. Here's a plant in the middle of everything. I like that they have benches here because you could just sit here forever and look at this stuff. I want to go into the Astro Hall of Fame a little bit later. When I was here last year, all this was closed off. I don't want anybody climbing in things. This is what that construction area will look like when it's completed back there. There is a new kid play place in here also, Planet Play. We'll see that in a little bit. Now we've done a lot of videos from here, especially around the space shuttle experience, the Atlantis exhibit. It is very tough to pick and choose what to include in videos here because there is so much to see. And you don't want the video to end up being three hours long. <laughs> Astronaut training experience. Space rocks. Space rocks. The Mars edition. So just so you should know, the astronaut training experience is an upcharge and it runs about like $170 or so. Jess and I did this when it was in beta and soft opening and they did like some free demos and you can check out that video up above. The Mars Rover. It's out on a mission. It's supposed to be right here. I assure you, this is what it looks like when it's usually parked right here. I'll take a little walk over to the back here. This is Orion. I'm gonna come back towards Planet Play, see if it's open. This is where the IMAX theater is also. Oh, so we've been to this section before, but it wasn't Planet Play. Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna check out the play area. Wow. 
That's the sun. I'm on fire. It feels like every other Florida day here to me. Rover races? Curiosity. Hi, I'm oh. We lean over to pick up the samples. This is not very easy. I'm standing under Uranus. Oh my goodness, you could climb inside of Uranus. <laughs> I mean, oh, out of all of the planets to choose. They chose Uranus. There's a whole upstairs also. I'm like, oh, climbing things. This is really cool. And the best part here, not only is it really cool, it's indoors, so it literally is cool. I know. <laughs> look at this. So we're above the play area, and look at this. Up top, there's beer, and wine on tap, and coffee, Starbucks, water. Ooh, chairs with outlets and USB plugs, tabletop games and maps, and trivia. You can sit here, drink your space beer, and play space trivia. Neptune, Mercury. Oh my god, dude. This is incredible. It's the top of the sun solar flares and there's more games over here this is incredible pluto is pluto a planet again is it think, not a planet i think it came is coming back into the solar system i heard that <laughs> did you hear it on facebook i don't know <laughs> oh look at this right. we're gonna play which planet rotates on its side 90 degree of Axial tilt. Could it be Uranus? What is the answer? I was correct. What'd you write? Uranus. Everything is about Uranus. You can play on your phones also. All right, I'm gonna walk through Cosmic Quest, and we've been informed that they're out of cards to play the games, but there are games to be played here. Different lab stations, Hubble, Galileo, Webb, and we've got a moon man. And this should be in every theme park and every place that you go to now. Refillable water, stop selling us $5 bottles of water. Bring your own container, stop the plastic use. All right, Atlanta's that way, but we're going this way. We made a 10 o'clock reservation for our bus trip over to the Saturn building. And away we go. It's dangerous, so don't launch a rocket next to that liquefied hydrogen flammable gas. That's a mistake. SpaceX. The spaceport of tomorrow today. And away we go. We're on the bus. Check out that solar farm. As you venture behind the gates, you'll find a community of the most proud for the technology, science, and human exploration. Artemis mission. Let's go back to the moon. This is a partnership. Not just government launches, but commercial launches and international partners. Final assembly of its rockets before launch. The sheer scale of this building is hard to grasp. The vehicle Even assembly right building in the distance. It. Do you ever feel really small when you think about space right now? I did a video inside that building. I'm they can check out the, the link up above. Building, trying to grasp how large it really is in here. It has four bays. Each bay has two large horizontal doors below it and seven smaller vertically opening doors above it, tall enough to fit the world's largest rocket through. In fact, these are the largest doors 
in the world. Building. The blue section alone is the size of an NBA basketball court. Each star is six feet across, and each red and white stripe is wide enough for this bus to drive down. And the entire VAB? It's so huge that the Roman Colosseum would fit on the roof with room to spare for a parking lot. In 1965 for the Apollo program, and has since been updated to accommodate the space shuttle and now NASA's SLS rocket. There's another one right down the side of this building, sitting a little further back. It's a transporter. Now, on each corner of the crawler, there's two tracks on each corner. One track alone has 57 cleats on it, and each cleat weighs one ton. The crawler has two driver's compartments, one for taking it out, and then he walks back to the one in the back and brings it back. The crawler does not make any U-turns. Off to your right, sitting up in the air on pedestals, that is a mobile launch platform. The crawler would drive over there, go underneath it, pick it up, take it inside the vehicle assembly building, where they would then assemble a launch vehicle onto that platform. That is launch pad 39A. That is SpaceX's launch pad. They do have another one over on the Air Force side, which is pad 40. Over top of the bleachers, to your left, three lightning towers. That is pad 39B. That is NASA's launch pad. That is where they will launch their new rocket called the Space Launch System, or referred to as the SLS. This rocket will be the world's largest most powerful rocket ever built. It looks like the movie is back up and running again, too. Signs of the times. Lost in space. Comfort, safety, and viewing pleasure of all. Came from our young president. In one inspiring moment, he changed the mission. From one based in fear of the present to one of hope for the future. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Bryce play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon and just detain and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. We have been more than 16 minutes into space, and now we will go into the moon. Take small children by the hand and proceed go into the, the firing room. To firing room number one. All scholars, please be seated in the front row. Breaking news. This is not a mock -up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap. And we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. You are now in the final minutes before the launch of Apollo 8. Right here, where it actually happened.
I have missed you. This is massive. And to think, Ludacris and Tyrese made it all the way up there with just a car. <laughs> you can ask him questions. I did a deep space walk on the way back home from the moon. This and is we so freaking cool. Miles this side of the moon. The reason I did that space walk is because I had those two large cameras in the sim bay. One was the mapping camera, and the other was the high resolution camera. And the film cassettes from those two cameras had to be brought back into the command module because the only thing that survives the flight is what's inside the command module. Uh, I made two trips out, uh, got the mapping camera film cassette, and then went out and got the... Let's take a little look, shall we? It's an Astro van. More interactive exhibits. Into place upon opening. The barbecue roll. That sounds delicious. In space, temperatures fluctuate hundreds of degrees between the light and the shade. During the three-day journey to the moon, the side of the spacecraft facing the sun could overheat, while the side facing away from the sun could freeze. To distribute the temperature evenly, the spacecraft would rotate as it traveled through space, giving its entire surface equal exposure time to the sun's warmth. It rotated six revolutions per hour or slower. This technique was called passive thermal control, or PTC, but it was also known casually as the barbecue roll. Take a These little hologram exhibits are new, and they are just phenomenal. I mean, you could see right through, so you can see the, the door back there. Vehicle, or LRV, was designed with a... I have an Apollo 1 tribute. Fourteen seconds to reveal. Seconds.
1969 on Saturn V, Neil Armstrong and Buzz. This was used the actual walkway. I'm literally at a loss for words. Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins. Not many times I'm at a loss for words. Mary's gonna leave her footprints on the moon. Maybe not. <laughs> oh. I guess it's just in certain spots. Could you believe we put a man on the moon? All right, we're gonna check out the other exhibits in a moment, but first, Space Hamburger. Oh no, Space Hamburger's not an option anymore. Now it's just Space Chicken Tenders and Space Hot Dogs. And space Salads. It's peanut butter jelly time. Well, a little disappointed that there's no Space Hamburgers, but I will settle for chicken strips before this place gets absolutely bonkers packed. Mm -hmm. Mary made the right choice though. <laughs> Got some more interactive exhibits. Going back to the moon. This is the lunar module access hatch. It's crazy. Wow. Apollo extension handle and the lunar core sample tube. So they could take samples of the moon. Oh, you could use the touch screen. You can go all on, yeah, mission on. section of a rocket. Ooh. Wow, 8,000 miles an hour. It's almost as fast as my Kia Sedona. <laughs> be part of the people's moon. No sponsorship from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. We are part of the people's moon. Please wait. Oh, there we are. I think we're in like Nevada. We're up there somewhere. Space pan, space pan, space pan. Of course, the most famous space pen was given to Jerry Seinfeld from Jack Clompus. It writes upside down. This one's really cool. 40th anniversary, a little footprint action. Very cool. Let's take a look inside. Let's take a look at her. That stands before me. <laughs> Period cameras from the Apollo Saturn launch. Which I was looking forward to. Previous to that. Apollo 17 moon buggy. Look at the tires. So crazy. Space helmet. Space suit. And the space boots. That's crazy. It's another lunar rover. Lunar module cockpit. Lunar sample. Put your hand in there. 
This is how you get your superpowers. <laughs> Check out the shared carpet. And the coffee table and green couch. This looks like it was my living room in the 70s. We gotta watch a movie. Here we go. Marine rock containment vessels. Lunar samples. Spacesuit maintenance kit. Wow. Lunar sample bag. Dispenser, extravehicular suit, another extravehicular suit from 1969, next to another from 1967, and this one's from 1963. It's like right out of a TV show. I mean, look at the hands. And it looks like it, the coils for like a dryer exhaust. <laughs> wow. Wow. 1964. Another little lunar sample. We're gonna walk outside here for a minute. You can see the launch pad from out here. We've got some stands that you can see the launches from. And over here, vehicle assembly building. And off in the distance here, launch pads. I don't remember there being so much vegetation here, but I think it's from trust trying to keep people from leaning over. Oh, there's a big lizard over there. Big lizard and little lizard. Give me some shots here. Panning. Start our journey back to the main area. Times from here. It was the last ship in the fleet to fly. On the bus, the floor isn't lava. It's the moon. So the driver was just telling us these buses are all brand new, six hundred thousand dollars a piece, and they got thirty of them. The floors on the buses are either actual topographical pictures of the moon or some are of Mars. And now, Atlantis. We're back to the Atlantis experience and it is fully open again. 
The last time that we were here, you just walked right through and you didn't get to see the movie or the reveal. Anyone know why we're here? by a space shuttle. A lot of people pretending to fly the Atlantis right now. A space toilet. And the galley. But more importantly, space toilet. Look at that. That's for after you have your space Chipotle deorbit burning checklist. Look at that walkie talkie. Oh, the space shuttle's engines. And they are on the shuttle. From the runway to the launch pad. Prepping the orbiter, assembly in the vehicle assembly building. The rollout, we just saw that before. On the way to the pads, launch pad. These tires actually from the space shuttle. This is the shuttle tunnel adapter truss assembly, which was in the space shuttle on certain missions with an external airlock as a contingency plan to close the payload doors manually if they needed to. 
And then we have the tributes for Columbia and Challenger. We've done some extensive video in here before. These are really difficult to look at over and over. This is from Colombia. And Challenger. The fleet of space shuttles. And fun fact, I was in Orlando, Florida when Columbia lifted off. Back when I was a wee lad vacationing with my family for Disney. The shuttle gift shop is closed right now, I suspect, due to COVID reopening. And we've got another space bus. This is a much cooler Astro van. Also, it looks a lot more comfortable. The astronaut in the pumpkin orange jumpsuit. Tangential fact, if you like NASA's pumpkin orange, Target right now has a bathing suit branded NASA on the lake in the pumpkin orange. I had to buy one myself. Mary thought like, oh my God, I can't be seen with this guy, but. It's okay. <laughs> you can spot me a mile away on the beach. All right, we're going back to Planet Play. Get some space beers. Space beer. Space beer, Robinot Red. Delicious. Business has picked up here. I'm gonna check out what they have in the NASA shop. This place always does damage to my wallet. You can get some meteorites. That big one is $12,000. Ooh, they have coins celebrating a little drone from Mars. Ingenuity. The SR-71 Blackbird. We saw one of these when we were in Georgia. Snoopy goodness. <laughs> Perfect for the 4th of July. Oh, that's really cute. Lots of SpaceX goodness. We have women's hats for the Artemis missions. And men's. You can get a polo, as Mary says. You can be fancy. Oh, Blue Origin has flex fit hats. Look at those cats. Well, I think we're done with the main attractions. We're not staying for the movies, but we are going to take a walk through quick at the Hall of Fame. Yes, with wheelchairs, oh, the pre show again. To the right of the theater. Should we need to leave the presentation for The movie has ended. And now the real treat begins. <laughs> Mercury Atlas. The hero is inspired. This is one of my favorite displays here. Buck Rogers toy guns. Buck Rogers in the 25th century. <laughs> Flash Gordon. More Buck Rogers. Curious. An Erector set. I used to love my Erector set when I was a little kid. Confident. Middle one, Michael Collins. 
John Glenn, bottom right, Bob Crippen, bottom left, Frank Borman, Gerald Carr, to you, Alan Shepard, Paula Shearer, Jim McDivitt, Neil Hawk, Mercury Mission Control Room. Bring me into it. The spacecraft will probably get very hot. Temperatures of 3,000 degrees. Courageous. Gus Grissom's spacesuit. Gemini 9 capsule. The United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. Alan Shipper. My favorite. Oh, you can push the button and select the astronaut for a photo op. So you can stand. Sally Ride, Kathy Sullivan. One last look. And we're gonna head out. All right, Kennedy Space Center. We were almost here from rope drop to close. Well, we are getting out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't even do everything that there is to do. I think we say this all the time. They open up at nine, so this is their extended hours. They open at nine and close at five. Mm -hmm. It's not enough time to see everything in painstaking detail if you guys are interested in coming. Yeah. It's really worthwhile to hit it for multiple days. I, although, it kind of varies depending on how much your level of geekdom is for science or space. Mm -hmm. But it is phenomenal to see the stuff here. We didn't get into like the IMAX movie and stuff this time around. So it always gives us a reason to come back again. To come back. The new yeah. playground was super awesome. Oh my god, that was just amazing. We need to borrow someone's little kids <laughs> so, so that we can yeah, play we with can them go. in there. <laughs> so, and the bar and coffee shop in the area where the, the playground is, is uh, it's genius. It, it, very smart. So, very smart. But in any event, we're getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.